Hey, get it, guys. It's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. I do a heap of one UZ conversions and wiring and, uh, and related work. And today we're going to strip out a hydraulic fan pump. But just before we do that, I'm just going to show you a video of one of my subscribers. I get quite a buzz when guys send me videos of their first startup or their engines running. And um, I thought, hey, I might share them with, with a few guys to give you some inspiration to get onto your projects. One I actually sent to a guy the other day and he had it running like 30 minutes later after sending some information through to him. Man, that guy could come work for me. But today's video is uh, Ants Pajero. Yeah, I'm sure this is the Pajero. Ants will correct me if I'm wrong. And he's wired it up just by watching my videos and the information that I've shared. If you look at the video quite carefully, you'll see he's got the computer screen up with the link software. He's wired up his link ECU just from watching my videos. So let's have a look at that uh, first startup. So it's really cool to see these engines running at first startup, and it's a great way to thank me for helping out. All right. Anyway, today's job: hydraulic fan pump. I had a, a message from a friend of mine. He's just airbagged a truck, um, and it's another workshop. And he said, "Have you got one of these?" Quick chat, and. This particular vehicle's got Gilmore's on it, and I've fitted a few Gilmore's to one UZ's, and they break the top idler point because there's just too much load on it. So we normally get in and we weld up the back of it, put a bit more strength into it. However, Simon's going to need a new one or a replacement. So I've whipped over to my storage. I've grabbed an early model hydraulic fan pump, and we're going to strip all the guts out of it today. If you don't know about the hydraulic fan pumps, then I do recommend doing a bit of quick search. Uh, there is a search function in YouTube and it will bring up the hydraulic fan pump and all about them. But let's get in with stripping this one out and we'll chat while I'm doing it. So here we have the earlier, one of the earlier hydraulic fan pumps. It's got the five bolts. So it'll sit right back down flush and won't need to be scalloped out for the belt to run through. Right, we've popped the, I've just popped the bracket off for the solenoid there. And the idea, I want to get pretty much all the steel out of this unit. It's quite noisy this morning, isn't it? It's really fun to hold in the vise. I've got my 30 mil spanner. So if you don't have a 30 mil spanner, and an adjustable nut tucker might do the job. Gotcha. Now it's quite interesting, some of these solenoids, some are default open, and some of them are default closed. So if you are controlling your hydraulic fan, sometimes they need different mechanisms to control them. Okay, so the front nut on these, it is a left hand thread, that way. Gotcha. All 
While I've got my rattle gun going, I'm going to take these inserts out. Change the rattle gun direction, eh, guys? Often guys get confused with this unit. I'm having a great day, eh? 13 mil doesn't fit a 12. Let's try again. So ideally, we would use a puller to remove this, but not everybody has a puller at home. So other options, pick up the die grinder or a grinder, and I've given it a little bit of a, a bit around here. Yeah, I, I had already done it. And that allows you to get in there and remove the bolts. that's one option the other option is if you're really keen with a really big hammer you can smack it there this is on a taper we'll give it a try and if it doesn't work I'll edit it out oh hello puppy dog it looks like I own a new car Another one for the collection. It looks right. Ah oh, shit, I bought a Sora. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, been at it. Facebook Marketplace is a very bad place when you have an obsession for collecting V8s. Sometimes I get called a hoarder. It's probably quite accurate. Have a saw. We can do some testing. We can make it go. Apparently it doesn't go. Right, back to that hydraulic pump. Right, let's see if I manage to hit it right. Oh, yes. Get out of it. I'm trying to do... <sighs> G'day. That'll do. Right, off you go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me check. See if I hit it in the right. Oh, look at that! Woohoo! Oh, it's left hand thread. So that is on a slight taper. Going in, there we go. It has a proper gears on this one. And these, of course, without lubrication, they will seize. Along with this shaft. Which is just bushed into the aluminium. And this next piece will come out as well, but these dowels often hold it.
So there we have a stripped out hydraulic fan pump. This is the flat one, as I said, so it doesn't need to be uh, have material removed on here at all. Oh, we'll get that little, there's a little washer there. Don't take that piece out, that's where they break. When we put the, uh, the Gilmores on, so we have to put some extra support, extra weld in here. So I hope that was helpful. I've taken ownership of a dirty old Sora, which I can see some uh, good diagnostic videos coming with that, and probably some skids around the paddock. With those hydraulic fan pumps, I've seen a lot that guys have not known what they are and seized. Really cool when it's strapped to a dyno and it runs up and seizes. Not my dyno, because I wouldn't start it like that. And then, of course, it costs people money. Far easier to sort out while you're doing your engine prep. So I'm sending that one down to Simon to get uh, to repair his problem, and he will do a cam bat at the same time. I hope that was helpful, and we'll talk to you again soon. Catch you later.